Prime Hydration, the hydration drink that's meant to be good for you that maybe isn't as healthy as it claims you've probably heard about prime hydration being caught in a lawsuit because they contain three times the amount of forever chemicals as you're meant to have in your lifetime and you're probably thinking what are forever chemicals well forever chemicals are chemicals that take over 3,000 years to break down these chemicals are used in waterproof stuff flame retardant retardant that's not a slur, I swear. And firefighter foam that they use to put out fire. It's foam that they go like, Phew, and it puts out fire. It's also used in that. And you should really, really not consume these chemicals. Except if you're a 13 year old British child who drinks Prime, then you've probably consumed a lot of these chemicals. We got Prime, boys. We got Prime. We got Prime, boys. We got Prime. We got Blue Raspberry. We got Ice Pop. We got Tropical Punch. We got all the Prime. So if you're between the ages of 9 and 13 and live in the UK, you probably have some lifetime chemicals coursing around in your vein. But what do these chemicals do? Say you have like a Minecraft square with like a one block stream coming through. It's like putting obsidian on that block and just stopping everything. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. So once you consume lifetime chemicals into your body, they will never live. They just go to the kidney and the kidney cannot filter them. So they just kind of stay there, which isn't very good. And that's why the loss is happening. They claim that someone who drank prime grape flavor, the only flavor that has been tested and has this is the grape flavor. It doesn't seem clear whether they've tested other primes, but they've tested the grape one and it has three times the lifetime. But this all spurred from a kid with leukemia, allegedly getting the leukemia from drinking prime. Now the leukemia is sad, but I don't think it's from the prime. But if you've drank a lot of prime, you're probably scared about what's gonna happen to you. And what I recommend to do is take out the fattest life insurance claim you can like the biggest life insurance claim because your family is about to get paid when you die when you die from drinking seven bottles of prime a day your family will get a fat paycheck so just go to your local insurance company and just take out the fattest claim you can and your family will be set but for you you're dead rip it was nice knowing you hopefully heaven's real because i mean you probably won't be getting you'll be going to hell no, it's not that bad because Logan Paul said in his video that it's bullshit. All right, let's talk about this. First off, anyone can sue anyone at any time. That does not make the lawsuit true. And in this case, it is not. There's claims that PFOS or forever chemicals come from plastic. So in this case, they're not talking about the actual drink, the liquid prime. They're talking about the bottle that prime is manufactured in. This ain't a rinky dink operation. We use the top bottle manufacturers in the United States. All of your favorite beverage brands, Coke, Pepsi, Tropicana, Dr. Pepper, they use these companies. This little study that was conducted by a lawyer is absolute bullshit. They're claiming that Prime has 0.06 PPT, parts per trillion. But that's interesting because the EPA says that anything under 1.1 PPT cannot be deemed as reasonably accurate, meaning they don't have the right tools or resources to even prove what they're claiming. Are you following this? It means the detection limit is 66 times more than what they're claiming we have in our drink. And that's just the detection limit. Your own state will not even take action unless it's over 40 parts per trillion. So we don't even think this information is factual, but for the sake of this conversation, Let's continue. In one prime hydration drink, they found three times the amount of PFOs that you should consume in drinking water in your life. <laughs> We have a very big multi-million dollar filter that filters the water from the state. Water you drink at home, water provided by the state before we make it into prime. If this claim about PFOs and PFAs is true, what is that saying about your state water? Then according to their website, the Environmental Protection Agency's recommendation is using one of three tactics to remove as many PFOS and PFAS as possible. Activated carbon, ion exchange treatment, and reverse osmosis. Well, we do two out of the three of those to clean the state's water before it even becomes prime. One person conducted a random study and has provided zero evidence to substantiate any of their claims. Do y'all remember a while back when they said that the FDA was investigating Prime? It never happened. They never called us because we follow every single guideline and regulation. So Tommy, the TikTok lawyer, four videos in. Man, farm those views, get those likes, and get a haircut while you're at it. We'll accept an apology within the next 48 hours. Otherwise, you're going to be representing yourself in a miserable courtroom for lying about our brand. Now, obviously, these two people are literally on different sides. They're going to be extremely biased. Logan Paul is extremely biased towards Prime and the other guy is extremely biased against because he's representing someone who's suing Prime. You can't really trust either side. So I wouldn't be too scared yet. But to be fair to Logan Paul and KSI, Prime is produced in one of the biggest factories in the world. Like, like the people who produce Prime also produce Coke, Sprite and so much other leading beverages that they would know if there was forever chemicals in. Now Prime does taste like the most unhealthy drink you can ever put into your body 
and I wouldn't be surprised if they jacked that up with so much chemicals because it really does taste like it but it's probably not true also the guy who made this claim deleted his tiktok where he made the claim it's gone that could be because Lug Logan Paul that could be because Logan Paul threatened to sue him but if he was confident about his claims and really thought there was forever chemicals in it and he could say that he maybe doesn't want to get sued in the first place but that's what he does for a living is get sued and sue so i don't i don't get why he did that so what i recommend is maybe don't consume prime for a while i know you little british children will be getting withdrawals for the next few weeks but until we know more about what's happening what's going on in that prime bottle we should maybe just calm down on the prime hydration now i myself have been a fan of prime in the past my local circle k had a deal on where it was two primes for two euro two primes for two euro that's so cheap so i had to jump on the opportunity and i had like 10 primes in a week P prime energy though i don't like the hydration the energy is pretty good so yeah i'm probably dead as well if this is true i'm probably deceased i'm taking out a fat life insurance claim as well as as you should but i wouldn't be worried just yet i just wait for more information to come out on this thing but it doesn't seem too good for it uh, oh logan paul and ksi and there's just so much better options than prime like there's lucas aid monster like come on don't be drinking Prime, it's just overpriced for what it is, and it's not even that nice. Alright, that's it for today. Please do like and subscribe, because there's more videos coming. Bye.